Hey everyone, it's Sarah Threadster, Nurse RN.com, and today we're going to do a quick review on how to identify melanoma using the ABCDE assessment. Here we have this lesion on our patient, and we're going to use the ABCDE assessment to see if this may be melanoma. So A, that represents asymmetrical. And to determine this, you would draw a line down the middle of the area and see if it looks the same on each side. If we did that here, it would not look the same on each side. So this area is definitely asymmetrical. Then we would look at the borders and we're looking to see if they're even or uneven. And here our borders are not nice and round. They are definitely uneven. And then we would look at the color. Here, this color is very suspicious. It's a very dark black color. Also, you would want to be aware if it had multiple colors in it, that would be alarming. And then we would look at the diameter and anything greater than six millimeters is concerning. And this one is definitely greater than six millimeters. Then we would look at the evolution. Has it been evolving in its shape? size or color and you would want to ask the patient about this and if it has this means we are suspicious that this may be melanoma and the patient would need a skin biopsy now let's compare that lesion to this lesion and again using the ABCDE assessment we're looking to see if this is asymmetrical this is not asymmetrical if we draw a line down the middle it would look even on each side it would look the same the borders are nice and even they're not uneven like the one we just seen the color is nice and uniform we see one color and it's brown the diameter is not greater than six millimeters it's around two millimeters which is good and evolution is not present it hasn't changed in its size shape or color Therefore, we would determine that this is a common mole. And with your patients, you want to teach them to do a monthly skin assessment and to follow this ABCDE acronym. Okay, so that wraps up this review over the ABCDE assessment for melanoma. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos.